I think right now we are a cask of change in terms of what money is and what we've been thinking of it. Mm-hmm. This event happens um, every now and then, you know, uh, after so many years, society is always changing money, right? Yeah. And currency is actually the new money, the new form of money, because it's better in a lot of ways than our money. So not everybody is going to buy Bitcoin, right? Okay. Not everyone will, will, will be a participant in this transition of currency. But if you make yourself involved on that transition, the, the upside of what you can make is a lot, right? Just like people who believed in Bitcoin when it just came out, maybe a year after, when it was $1 or $2, right? Right now, they have really been incentivized highly if they're still holding the Bitcoins. And uh, it's almost like when we moved from, uh, from a, the gold standard to the current money, there's certain people who benefits, uh, who benefited a lot from fiat currencies through banks and other services, right? Or the credit system. And now we're moving into sound money again, that is more global and universal. So if you make yourself involved in that, then I think you have a high upside. What is there to lose? You can put a little bit of money into it, buy some coins, and it could be worth something much in the future. In my case, it was, you know, I started buying Bitcoin sometime when it was, 6,000 Rand, I believe, at the time. Okay. Now, one time Bitcoin. Ago. Exactly, right? And it's not really that long if you consider yeah. how investments appreciate. Yeah. You know, if you look at Bitcoin as an investment. Um, and what now, one Bitcoin is 700,000 Rand. So wow. you can imagine this is a period of five or six years. Yeah. You know, what, what else could have given you that much return? Margaret.